Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Profile Tech. Today I wanted to go over some really quick ways to pull data using searches inside of Automate. Let's get into it. So as you open up Automate here, one thing that you may or may not need to do is if you, know, you get told or maybe you're just looking for something, an, an easy way to pull a quick search without having to make a full data view is just using the advanced searches. So if I come over to automation searches and then into advanced searches here, you get a window that looks something like this. Sometimes it's larger, or smaller, depending on whatever you get. Um, something that you want to do is if you actually click this little plus box, this will actually add a, a new select statement. Basically we're selecting all from computers and then we're basically doing joins and things like that on the back end of SQL. This is the nice way to actually build out a query to find data in your system. One of the things that I get asked a lot uh, as an MSP consultant is where are, or why is my antivirus showing this versus that? And usually it's because of virus definitions and IDs and the way the database was built. However, something that is interesting is being able to basically find where your AV is installed, but showing something else. And so what I can do is if I actually come up to computer here, there is an antivirus category. And what I want to say is antivirus name, and this is what's displaying. So if I just grab you know, McAfee, for example, and it, it would say in my actual computer management window, you know, my windows 10 dev machine is going to be supported by McAfee right now. However, I know that I have Sentinel one installed. And so what I'm looking for is then where it's displaying McAfee. But if I go to application install, so application is basically detected. I can say contains and do something like Sentinel one. And so I like to just do Sentinel and that way it will catch your Mac machines as well. If I hit search, I don't think I'm going to get anything because I don't think we have anything that's labeled McAfee. Um, but basically what I'm saying here is give me all the information where it's displaying. And so if I just click a, a dev machine here, just so I can show you what I'm looking at. And I need to add the tile back so that we can see that correctly. And if you don't have this, all you have to do is come into here, make sure that antivirus is checked and click close. It's still not going to work for me. One thing to note, if this ever happens to you is your workspace is just a combination of other tiles. So if I left click on automation and device, it will just bring me up all the tiles that are from the, uh, my workspace there. And in this case, antivirus and this tile, yours is likely on your workspace there, the default one. In this case, it would say McAfee, you know, version eight, whatever, um, it, whatever you have in this top search here, that's what is displaying. And then what we're looking for is where services or application, you're basically finding a different check to see whether your antivirus is installed application name works fine. Um, and then basically, yeah, you just hit search and whatever data comes back, you can then select all, or you can export all to Excel. And that will give you basically a quick data view audit of all the places where a different AV is labeled, but your software is installed. And it, then in that case, you would likely need to go into SQL and update the IDs to make sure they're kind of in a proper order. You can catch that one in another video. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvelTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.